We are in the Big 12 Conference playing for Oklahoma State. Two good performances. What could have been a win at Kansas and a very good win over West Virginia in gallagher Iowa Arena. So let's just sort of look at it big picture. You've won three of your last four, and anyone who's watched your team play since that final week before Christmas sees a lot of progress. What specifically have you seen that's been encouraging to you? Well, you hope that people see progress. Um, but a lot of times what you do is you see wins or losses. And you know, the truth is internally, we know that there's been progress made. Our players know it, our staff knows it. Uh, and anyone who really knows basketball can see the adjustments that have been made both offensively and defensively, because both have improved greatly. And it's led us to have a lot more confidence in preparing against what we know now, um, what we've known for a long time, the best competition in college basketball, which is upon us in Big 12 play. We've already had the chance to talk about some of the offensive adjustments, and the numbers really demonstrate that. But defensively, you mentioned adjustments. What have you done defensively, and how have they impacted things? Yeah, so we've gone to actually doing less uh, coverage in our ball screens. And what I mean by that is putting two guys on the ball, and being in rotation and gotten really comfortable with Tyreek Smith and Caleb Boone switching more in pick and roll situations and allowing ourselves to keep Musa Cisse at the rim a little bit more, um, which has given us a little bit more opportunities to, to be in position to rebound, uh, but also to continue to contest shots on the perimeter. You know, you played in Lawrence, Kansas Saturday. You led for the majority of the game. You had a chance to win at the end. There were so many positives. You led by 15 points at halftime. Then you have to turn around and 24 hours later at 6 o'clock on Monday play again. How satisfied were you at the fact that your guys could sort of put Saturday away as hard as it was and play as well as you did against West Virginia? Well, I was incredibly proud of our kids because that was a difficult moment to deal with on Saturday evening after we got back. And understanding that we were that close to having what would have been our biggest win of the year by far on the road against you know the per perennial champions of the league. Um, and to come up just short when we had opportunities to control the outcome a little bit better. Uh, but to own that uh, and credit to our staff for, for giving our guys the right message over that 36-hour period so that we were able to get past that and move on to the next game, which was going to be a totally different game in terms of style of play. Uh, and we would have to be prepared in a totally different manner to have success, and they did that. You know, one thing about Kansas, one of many things that really stood out to me that seems like be something that carries for the long term is if you can go in the Allen Fieldhouse in there and 16,300 people make a lot of shots and have some success offensively, which you did in the first half, there's long term benefit to that, isn't there? Absolutely. I mean, you know, we, we're getting improved play uh, notably from John Michael Wright and Bryce Thompson are starting two of our three starting guards, which we need. You got to get Avery Anderson going. He got a little bit more. Uh, consistent production against West Virginia. So that was a positive sign. Uh, and then we need to continue to be able to develop some inside scoring opportunities between Tyreek Smith, Caleb Bone, and Musa Cisse. And we're really building a team that's capable of playing different ways and having success, whether that be having to play from the three-point line like we did in Lawrence or coming home and have to really finish the game inside and at the free throw line like we did with Caleb Boone against West Virginia. Which is exactly what you did against the Mountaineers. And let's just jump to that. I was looking at looking back at the notes from that game. The last 18 minutes, I think you had one three-pointer, one jumper. Everything else was at the rim and at the free throw line. I believe you made eight of your last 10 free throws. And that turned out to be the deciding part of the game, really, because West Virginia did not make free throws. Yeah, and uh, it's a game against West Virginia that you know is always going to be a physical one, which is always going to lend itself to more free throw shooting opportunities. And so... One of the things we talked about on Sunday was being able to convert at the free throw line when we had opportunities. We've been a pretty good free throw shooting team for most for the most part. I think we have three guys over 90 percent at the line, uh, which is remarkable. Um, and, and really, you know, Bryce Thompson struggles early. He's still yet to be able to catch up to him. Um, but it's a game where you got to be able to convert at the line and you have to be able to take the fight to them on the interior. Otherwise, they make it really hard to beat them. It was an interesting game, sort of an ebb and flow. You had a lead. West Virginia came back and took the lead. What was interesting to me was this, maybe in contrast to some of the other games that you've played where you were in some close games. When it was close at the end, you went inside and you got points at the rim. And Caleb Boone, of course, was the primary guy involved in that. He had all 10 of his points in the second half, I think eight in the last 10 minutes. But perhaps is that a difference because of how you handled that? You know, when, when you're in a little crisis, you got easy baskets. You threw it inside. Absolutely. And it's part of the strategy uh, as things get a little bit 
you know, closer, you want to try to get something where maybe you can get fouled, get something closer to the rim, rim a higher percentage shot, as opposed to settling for a three-point shot when clearly later in the game you're you're less fresh, your legs aren't always going to be there as well as they are early in the game. And so give yourself the best opportunity to come away with points on each possession. And kudos to our guys because we executed some things that we hadn't practiced a ton, which goes to their maturity and ability to take the coach in and then be able to go out and execute. Another important part of that game was at about the four-minute mark, you went to zone, which was really good to you. And obviously, as far as West Virginia was concerned, it was a knuckleball as far as they were looking at it, I'm sure. Yeah, our zone's been very, very spotty this year. Uh, we, we haven't played. I think 92% of our possessions this season have been man-to-man. -man. So it really kind of throws teams off because they don't really prepare for it that often. And so when we have opportunities to steal a possession, in a league that we know always comes down to the last three or four possessions or two minutes, uh, it's critically important that you be able to execute those situations so that you can give yourself a great chance to have success. So let's look ahead. Texas is next. It's an early game, Saturday morning at 11 a.m. And <laughs> their game against Kansas State was crazy by Big 12 Conference standards. Uh, they scored 103 points and yet lost by 13 points. So one thing that jumps out is hey, they scored 103 points. Absolutely. I mean, the thing people point out to is they gave up 116, uh, which is certainly something that I'm sure they're trying to figure out how. But they scored 103, which means they've got a lot of firepower. Uh, and we've got to do a much better job defensively in terms of keeping them under wraps. They're really, really athletic. They're fast. Uh, they play a tremendously uh, great pace offensively. They get a lot of shots from a lot of different guys. And so we have our hands full, but I'm confident in our staff and our players' ability to prepare the right way, which will give us a chance to give a, uh, ourselves a chance to win the game on Saturday. So Texas early Saturday morning, then a huge week. Next week, road games at Kansas State and Baylor. We are off and running in Big 12 Conference play. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next week. <laughs>